Hi friends and fellow woodturners. Richard Ford here coming to you from Nova Scotia, Canada. Sometimes when you're turning a bowl if the curve on the inside is too uh, sharp or the bowl is deep there'll come a point when you have difficulty uh, keeping the bevel in contact. Um, when the bevel's not in contact you've lost control of that cut. Um, a friend of mine calls that point uh, the devil's elbow. I'm not sure if that's a, a common common term for it but it seems like a good name to me. So back in 2011 I was turning some shallow bowls that had a very tight curve and uh, I made a tool to help me uh, in that situation. Now uh, this tool that this video is about. It's a very simple tool to make. Uh, it just has a piece of high speed steel here and uh, the only thing I've changed from my description in the in the video is uh, back then I used to use the tapped hole on the top with a set screw down them in there uh, but the little hole in the middle will get filled with wood chips and what have you. You always had to clean it out. So I came up with a brain wave and I I put the tapped hole in the bottom. There, hope you can see that. Um, and it's a better place for it because the, the set screw pushes up underneath the cutter and tips it the same way and traps it in the hole. Uh, and there's much more meat for the threads uh, underneath here. There's a bigger amount of material. So it was a, a good change. Um, I've used this tool off and on since since I made it uh, a number of times and uh, I've, I've learned since that really all it is is a negative rake scraper and uh, I have about a 10 degree angle here and uh, it works very well. Works very well. It doesn't catch and now I've never had a catch with it and uh, as long as I just keep it flat on the tool rest, it seems to work very well. One of the features I think that helps that is the fact that the cutting edge or the cutting point here is only a little bit higher than the base that it's resting on the tool rest. So that means any downward force here um, has very little turning effect, like to twist the tool. It, it tends to just push it down and so you don't get any twisting to create a catch. So it's a, it's a really good tool, and so I thought I'd, I'd repost it uh, back out there for everybody's information. I hope you enjoy this video, and stay safe in your workshop. Have a great day. Bye now. Safety. It's a big thing in the workshop. If you don't feel safe doing something, or you just don't feel comfortable, don't do it. You're the only person who can keep you safe. And if you don't do it, no one else can. I've just made a new tool, and it works so well, I thought I'd make a little video. It's a very simple tool to make, just a piece of square bar. And I've drilled a hole down through the end on about a 10 degree angle. The hole's just big enough to take a quarter inch piece of tool steel, high speed steel and you can see I've I've ground it well I actually ground it upside down with about a 10 degree angle on it, clearance angle now it's very simple the tool bit just fits in and you just tighten up the set screw And you can see the top of the tools on an angle, so it's like a negative negative rake. It sits flat on the tool rest. It doesn't seem to catch, well, not very easily anyway. So I'm going to show you how it works. You could easily make one of these, or if you have a friend who's into metalwork, You know this is a tricky thing to do to uh, to have an undercut
in an edge like this. Uh, it's not easy. This this tool seems to handle it pretty well. Just flat on the tool rest. Now these are shavings that are coming off. This is uh, hard yellow birch, dry hard yellow birch. Now this is the inside curve that uh, my friend calls the devil's elbow. And uh, a lot of people have trouble coming around there rubbing the bevel. So I think I'm going to call this tool the devil's elbow tool. Yes, the devil's elbow tool or DET. There. Not the uh, not the smoothest finish, but it's pretty good. You you can see how much I've taken out with the tool. Get my thumb right in there. It's cutting it quite well. I'm just going to thin this down and then I'll cut across the bottom. I just just wanted to show you how well the tool works. I was very impressed. It's very easy to very easy to make. I mounted it uh, on the drill press, holding it in the vise, with it overhanging the edge of the table, and uh, it cuts like the Dickens. It's great. <laughs> just thought I'd pass it along to you. Quick little video to demonstrate this tool. I'll try it along the back face as well. Well, wow. look at that. <laughs> yeah, not bad. The recess is kind of getting full of uh, shavings here. They get trapped as they're thrown out. <laughs> yeah, I can't get to the wood anymore. <laughs> nope, there we go. You can see there's a lot of shavings, uh, some sawdust too. But that's a pretty good finish. Not bad at all. Has the devil's elbow met its match? Yeah, pretty good. I'm really impressed. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a tool that uh, I won't be throwing away. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. It's pretty good. And you can see this is uh, quite a quite a good size. Oh yeah, we have about 19 inches across there, the outside. Yeah, and I'm running at uh, oh just on 700 RPM. Yeah. 
I think that speaks for itself.